Hello Blockineers! Today we are at Bolsa Chica Ecological Reserve and we're going to do some hiking. We brought along with us the coldest water to help us cool down on this hot day. Let's get started. By the way, you can order the coldest water bottle at the link in the description and use the code LWB to save 10% off your entire purchase. And you can also enter the coldest giveaway at the description as well. Over here is the Nature Center. Unfortunately, it is closed due to the pandemic, but they do have some information there that you can pick up from that table. Located in Huntington Beach, this is a 1,300 acre wetland with over 200 aviation species. Look at this marsh. It's like a huge lake. Oh, there's a bird over there. If I can throw stuff, something on the pond to try to trick the bird that it's a fish. Close, you can get to the marsh. We're like only 10 feet away, and you can see the little ripples of the water We're going in that direction. Oh, that's because the river starts there, maybe. How, what's a hazardous bluff area? It seems like many people have stepped over this barbed wire line, which they're not supposed to, but there's so many footprints all over. There's even some footprints on the very edge of that rock there. Imagine someone falls inside the marsh. Okay. Yeah, the fence just ends there and then you can step over. <laughs> Here's a trivia question. Which of the following are fin fish? Tuna, marlin, rock crab, halibut, corbina. So all three on the bottom plus tuna and marlin. Uh -huh. Oh, you were very close, brother. Can you match each object with its use, brother? Curved throwing stick. Good. What does bolsa chica mean in Spanish? Bolsa means purse or bag. Perhaps in reference to the low rolling hills that were present in the 1800s. They look like a row of simple leather purses. Chica is an adjective that means small, suggesting that the purse is a small one. So, bolsa chica means small purse. So we just finished a very short five minute loop and now we're going to go across the bridge to the main trail, which is not a loop. We see a bird. I can't see through it. When you're at the Bolsa Chica Preserve, you have to be very careful for rattlesnakes in the hole. Uh, there's no rattlesnakes. These are probably brown spider holes. And plus, there are snakes. There's no rats. There's a very nice sea breeze because we're like right next to the ocean. Oh, you can see so, so many people are at the beach. Look. See all those cars parked there? I'm pretty sure a few weeks ago there was a fire here. It seems like this place is still recovering from the fire. The ground is all blackened and stuff. 
Hopefully there's no fire right now. This is strange because over here is evidence of fire and over there's water. And those are like opposites. Hey kids, what can you do to help the Bosa Chica Ecological Reserve? Okay, should you follow the rules to protect habitat and wildlife, brother? Mm -hmm. Should you participate in the CCCD at the BCER with your family or school? I don't know what that is, so no. <laughs> the answer is yes. And do you become a member of the organizations dedicated to protecting these wetlands? It's the all of the above. Come on. Do, don't you know that the answer's right over there? Oh. <laughs> We've reached another viewpoint, and we basically have the whole view of the marsh now. It goes from all the way down there to all the way over here. Um, and now we're going to head back because this trail just goes on forever and ever. One thing I will say, though, about the Bolsa Chica Ecological Reserve is I don't like how there's cars so nearby. This is the Pacific Coast Highway, and basically we can hear car after car after car. So it's not very naturey when you can hear that. Time to drink water. So the, what the coldest water does is it keeps water cold for more than 24 hours, and that's why our water is still nice and cool. There's still a lot of ice cubes in here. over here, which is very strange because I haven't seen cactus anywhere else in this marsh area. There's a maximum occupancy for the bridge, which is 375 people. So if there's 376, then this bridge will collapse. So we have finished hiking at the Bolsa Chica Ecological Reserve. Brother, what do you think of this place? It was pretty good, but I wish that the cars weren't nearby. Okay, I also wish the cars weren't nearby, but I'm gonna talk about the main trail we went on, which we just went for a little bit and then turned back. However, the main trail is actually one big loop that you could probably complete in one or two hours or so, but today is kind of hot, so we just didn't have the energy to do it. And then also we did this little loop at the start. We could do the main big loop in the future, but maybe on a cooler day. And speaking of hot days, I think we need some water. 